little chick. Oh, why are you crying? I am crying because I can't find my mother. Are you my mother? Oh, oh, baby. Oh, you have lost your mother. I am not your mother. Look, these are my babies. My babies look like this. So, I am not your mother. Oh no! Raja, move! Move away quickly. It's a baby bird. A small chick. You are scaring the chick. Don't bark now. Don't chase the little baby. Why are you crying, little chick? I am crying because I can't find my mother. Are you my mother? Oh, oh, poor baby. I am not your mother. Look at this scarf. My baby looks like this. So I am not your mother. Why are you crying, little chick? I am crying because I can't find my mother. Are you my mother? Oh, poor baby. I am not your mother. You are a bird. Your mother looks very different. My mother looks very different. She looks like a bird. You are a bird, so you must be my mother. No, little one. Don't cry. I am not your mother. You are a baby. You should be sitting safely in your nest. How did you come down? I was inside an egg. My mother had gone in search of food. I hatched out of the egg and I couldn't find my mother. I slipped and fell off the nest. Now I don't know who my mother is. I have never seen her. Oh, baby, stop crying. We'll try and find your mother. Who are you? What is your name? Why can't you be my mother? You are also a bird. Yes, I am a bird. There are different types of birds. I am a parrot. You are not a parrot. You are a sparrow. I am not a female. So I cannot be your mother. You can call me uncle. Am I a sparrow? That's why I look different. I am not green in color like you. Oh, parrot uncle, look there. I found my nest. Look, there is a nest there. No, no, no. That is not your nest. That is a robin's nest. Look. The bird has made its nest with grass. It has put soft twigs, roots, wool, hair and cotton wool on top. That's how the robin makes its nest. Oh, Paget uncle, the nest looks very soft and warm. Can I go in there and sleep? Look at those chicks. Their mouths are open. It looks so red. 
they are waiting for food their mother is going to get food for them can i also eat that i am very hungry no no little one you are not its baby you cannot go into that nest come let's go and find your nest quickly you can sit on my back and we'll fly and look for your nest pause it uncle is that my nest no that <coughs> is a crow's nest it builds its nest with all kinds of things it even puts pieces of wires and wood in its nest that is not your nest oh who is singing so beautifully is that my mother no that is not your mother that is a coyote it sings beautifully but it does not build a nest it lays its eggs quietly in a crow's nest and the crow hatches them along with its own eggs how can it do that will the crow not know that they are not its babies no that's because they look so much alike good morning pigeon i can see you are in a hurry to build your nest is it my mother where is its nest it is going near that cupboard no little bird that is not your mother that is a pigeon pigeon makes its nest anywhere sometimes on top of cupboards sometimes behind mirrors or even on windows so she is not my mother that must be my mother hello are you my mother oh who is that a little chick i cannot be your mother because i am not a female i am a male oh so are you my father no poor little bird i am not your father i don't have babies now see i am weaving my nest who is he why is he weaving his nest there are so many others like him who are also weaving a nest that is a weaver bird little chick he weaves his nest the male weaver birds weave beautiful nests they then wait for the female bird to come and see she looks at all the nests and chooses the one that she likes the most she then goes into that nest and lays her eggs oh so i am not a weaver bird don't worry little chick we'll fly somewhere else and look for your mother uncle look at that bird is that my mother oh but it is also weaving a nest it can't be my mother it is not weaving its nest it is stitching its nest that is a tailor bird it uses its sharp beak 
and stitches two leaves together. Then it lays its eggs on the fold of the leaf. Where has my mother gone? Why is she not looking for me? Oh, what is that noise? Tuck, tuck, tuck. Is that my mother calling me? Shh, look into that hole. In this hole? In the trunk of this tree? Yes, that's where the sound is coming from. It is the barbet bird. It makes its nest inside a hole in a tree trunk. This bird is also known as coppersmith bird. They make this noise. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Parrot uncle, I can see a nest hanging from that small tree. Is it my nest? Will my mother be there? No, little bird. This is the nest of a sunbird. You are not a sunbird. The sunbird builds its nest which hangs from the branch of a small tree. Come, let us go closer and see what it's made of. Look! The nest has hair, cotton wool, grass, dry leaves, pieces of cloth, thin twigs and even spider's webs. This nest looks nice. But I can't go in. Where can I find my mother? Ma! Ma! Little chick, I think we have found your mother. You are lucky. Can you see that bird standing near a nest in the window? She is a sparrow. Let us go and see if she is your mother. Oh, my baby. I was looking for you everywhere. Where did you go? You can't even fly. So are you my mom? Mom, mom! Parrot uncle was so kind. He took me everywhere to look for you. Thank you, Mr. Parrot. I will never forget your help. You have been so kind to my baby. You are welcome, Mrs. Sparrow. I know how difficult it is to lay eggs and take care of the baby chicks. There are so many enemies for our eggs and chicks. The wicked rats, cats, Snakes and other big birds like vultures are waiting to eat our eggs and chicks. Oh, that is so scary. Ma, I will be a good baby. I will sit carefully in the nest till I learn to fly. Parrot uncle. Will you come to meet me? Yes, little chick. I really like you. You are my friend now. I will come every day to meet you. Oh, thank you, uncle. Parrot uncle, you look so different from my mother. Why is your nose like this? That is not called a nose. <laughs> it is a beak. 
Yes, your beak is different from mine. You mainly eat grains. So, it is easy to pick grains with your beak. My beak is different because I have to eat fruits and break nuts. Ooh, so when I grow up, I will eat mostly grains and my beak will help me to eat that. Ma, what is that bird doing? Why is it fighting with the tree trunk? Its beak is so different. It is so thin and long. It is not fighting with that tree trunk, baby. It is making holes in the tree trunk. Its beak helps it to make holes in wood. Jake, different birds have different types of beaks to help them eat their food. Look at that bird. It is sucking nectar from a flower. Its beak looks different. That type of beak helps in sucking nectar. Oh, so birds have different beaks because of the different types of food they eat. Look, it is an eagle. You have to be very careful. It tears meat and eats it. Look at its beak. It helps the bird to tear the meat. Look, Ma. That bird has a different beak. Yes, it is a different type of beak. It helps the bird to cut and eat many different types of food. Little bird, did you see some birds near the pond when we were flying? Their beak is also different from ours. They have long beaks which help them find insects and worms from the mud and shallow water. I did not see their beak but I saw their feet. I saw one bird near the pond. It had funny feet. Not like ours. Oh, that! It was a duck. Ducks have webbed feet. They are joined together. It helps them swim in water. Ma, when I grow big, how will I learn to sit on trees? Won't I fall like now? No, baby. Our feet are special. They help us to hold on to the branches of trees. We will not fall. Oh, so the feet of different birds are also different. Yes, nature has created us so well. It has given us the right kind of beak and feet that help us do what we want to do. Just watch that bird climbing the tree. Look at its feet. It is different. It helps that bird climb the tree. Ooh, look at that bird. It is a big bird. Bird. It is carrying something in its feet and flying. I told you that you have to be careful about these birds. Look at its feet. It is different. It is carrying a rat that it must have killed. Its feet help it carry the rat and other things it hunts.
Mmm, it's going to have a good meal today. Some birds walk a lot on the ground. They have a different type of feet that help them walk. Mr. Parrot, will you eat something in our house? Can I get a mango for you? Oh no! Thank you, Mrs. Sparrow. I will eat the next time. Now it's late. I have to go back to my nest. I have to take some food for my babies. They must be hungry. Little bird, I have to go now. But you must be very careful. Always listen to your mother. Bye bye. Shall we match the nests with the birds? Soft twigs, roots, hair, cotton wool on top. Robin All kind of things ah! Crow Lays its eggs in a crow's nest. On top of cupboards, windows and behind mirrors. Pigeon Bird makes the nest. Weaver bird. Stitches two leaves together to make a nest. Tailor bird. in a hole in a tree trunk. Barbet Hangs 
hangs from the branch of a tree. Sunbird Soft twigs, roots, hair, cotton wool on top. Robin All kind of things. Ah! Crow. Lays its eggs in a crow's nest. Coil On top of cupboards, windows and behind mirrors. Pigeon The meal bird makes the nest. Weaver bird Stitches two leaves together to make a nest. Tailor bird In a hole in a tree trunk. Barbet. Hangs from the branch of a tree. Sunbird. Fill in the blanks now. The sings sweetly. The Coil sings sweetly. The parrot is color and has a beak. The parrot is green in color and has a red beak. And are the enemies a bird? Cats and snakes are the enemies of birds.
is our national bird. Peacock is our national bird. Birds make nests in different places like and Birds make nests in different places like trees, houses, cliffs and ground. <laughs> Birds have different types of interesting feet. to suit their needs shall we match the picture of the feet with what they are used for to swim in water to climb trees catch the prey to hold the tree branch to walk on land to swim in water to climb trees to catch the prey to hold the tree branch to walk on land
birds have beaks according to the food they eat. Shall we match the beaks now? To tear and eat meat. To make holes in wood and tree trunks. To suck nectar from flowers. To break and crush seeds. To cut and eat many kinds of food. To find insects and worms from mud and shallow water. <laughs> Let's answer some questions now. Have you seen a bird's nest? Where did you see it? How many different types of birds have you seen? Which is your favorite bird? Do you know where it builds its nest? Which animals are a bird's enemies? What do they do? Snakes, rat cats and vulture are the enemies of birds. They eat away the eggs or the baby chick once they are hatched. What are the different kinds of things that birds use to make their nests.
birds use different things to make their nests. Some of the things are soft twigs, roots, wool, hair, cotton wool, dry leaves, pieces of cloth. Why do birds build their nests? Birds build nests to lay eggs and to keep them safe from danger. Nests also help to protect its chicks from wind and rain. Shall we draw a bird and a nest? Please take out your notebook and a pencil and I will also draw with you. Bird. Friends, I am going to observe a nest near my house. Will you also observe a nest? Let's find out if there are eggs or chicks in the nest. I am going to find out how many times the mother bird comes to the nest in an hour. Let's also find out what she brings to feed her babies. Watch carefully. How many days did the chick in the nest take to fly on its own? Keep observing, friends. Bye-bye,